glamorous, glamorous. I feel like I have to sneeze, guys. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> hello, everyone. So, uh, hi, hello, welcome to my bedroom, back in my bed, hi. For today's video, I decided to do something that I haven't done in a while. I was inspired by Ingrid or Miss Clamorazzi. I was online the other night in bed and I was clicking around and I went onto her latest what's in my bag video and it made me feel really nostalgic. So Ingrid, if you're watching this, I really enjoyed your what's in my bag, small bag edition and it really inspired me because today I'm gonna to be doing what is in my bag, small edition. I'm gonna hop right in, but before I do, I wanted to let you guys know that actually I went through my closet and while I am loving small bags right now, I did decide that I want to get rid of a couple bags. So I'm going to be doing a giveaway within this video for one of my small bags. And I'm actually going to be selling the other two small bags on vintage.com. So if you don't know what vintage is, vintage is actually a marketplace. Uh, to sell, buy, and swap used clothing. It's a really awesome way to earn extra money. So you could have like permanent cash flow by selling stuff every week and make money. It's super cool because as stuff comes through your wardrobe, I don't know about you guys, but as things fill up, I like to get rid of things. So to be able and turn around and sell it either for a profit or to give it away to charity is just super cool. And Vinted makes the process really easy. So not only are you able to get like some of your favorite like store brands, like Urban Outfitters, Doc Martens, and get all of that at like up to 80% off. But on top of that, it's just super easy to search because in the search engine and when you first sign up, you can specify what you're looking for. So size, coloring, type of clothing, all of that jazz. So yeah, I'm gonna be selling those two other bags on my Vinted account. Click the link below if you want to download Vinted. And my username on Vinted is the same as on YouTube and everywhere else, just Nikki Philippi. So, Without further ado, I'm gonna hop into my what is in my small bag. Ingrid called it a no crap, like nothing extra in here. Mm, we'll see. But this is what I'm actually carrying around like today. This bag was actually inspired by Carly Crispin. Um, she has this bag and I really wanted it as well. So I got it as well. And it is by the brand She and & Low. And I absolutely love it because I feel like what's cool about this bag is it's kind of rugged looking with the studs and the studs are kind of worn out, but it's black. I feel like it still can look nicer too. So I love this bag. I love being 20s with Carly. Um, that's all there is to it. So we will see what is in here. Uh, obviously less stuff than normal because it's so small, but okay. So first thing I have right here, sunglasses. Guys, I have actually been getting stopped so much when I wear these sunglasses. And it's funny because they were super cheap. I got them at Target and they're just right here. But like I got stopped going to the gym the other day. The guy working behind the counter was like, yo, those are really cute glasses. I was like, yo, thanks. And we, you know, had a moment, but in a non-romantic way because I'm married. Maybe he thought it was romantic. So these sunglasses, they've been getting some love. Lots of people have been saying stuff. Target, I wanna say they were like 12 bucks. Um, that's why they were just like thrown in the top of my bag. Uh, next thing, oh man, vitamins. Ooh, I'm gonna be doing an updated health video. I'm just not gonna do it till later in the year because I am seeing a traditional MD, a nutritionist and a homeopathic doctor. And I have had a slew of tests done. Um, stool tests, nasty, urinalysis, blood work, all of that. But um, my doctor has me on like a vitamin regimen right now, as well as some certain things I've been taking on my diet, like soy and wheat. Uh, I'm kind of eating more paleo now, which is crazy because I was vegetarian for four and a half years. But according to all of my doctors, paleo is more the way I need to eat at this point. I still eat a ton of fruits and vegetables. I'm getting way off track. Point being, these are the vitamins that I had in my bag because I needed to take them when I was out. Oh man, a tampon because it's my time of the month and you know that if you follow me on Twitter. It's gonna say on period, but you know. Uh, then I have my keys, whoop de doo uh, Then random, I have a banking card because when I carry this bag, it kind of drives Dan crazy. I don't like to carry my full on wallet because it's too bulky, there's too much. So I kind of keep this little front pocket reserved for um, receipts because since I make videos on YouTube, which by the way, if you want to see my work routine, like what my life is like as a YouTuber, I just uploaded that video a couple days ago. But um, as a YouTuber, you it's technically because it's your business. I have a business account and I have to save all receipts from all purchases for tax purposes. So when I carry this bag, I keep my cards and my receipts in that little front pocket. 
Um, I have a Safeway Instant Hand Sanitizer. Glamorous. The glamorous, glamorous. Um, then I have some proactive oil blotting sheets. To be honest, I didn't use oil blotting sheets for a long time because oil blotting sheets, they supposedly make your face oilier because it sucks your face so dry that your skin overcompensates to make oil. But recently, girl, I've been so oily. I have just like, I have to carry oil blotting sheets. So um, that's what I've been doing. Uh, then I have a few lip products. If you guys follow me on Twitter, oh, how did you even get that open, Bowser? That's weird. If you follow me on Twitter, you know that I tend to carry around an obscene amount of lip products. Um, I don't know why. I didn't consider myself like a lip product junkie. I thought like, no, I'm not even that into beauty. And then one day I was out somewhere. I don't remember where I was. I'll try to post the picture if I can find it. But I had like six lip products in my tiny little bag. I was like, I think I'm in denial. Yikes. So um, yeah, today I have three lip products with me. The first one is my current favorite lip color, which I think I'm gonna do a April favorites at the end of the month because I have too many things that are starting to compile that I'm loving. So the first one is this 905 Brazen Berry by Maybelline. I hauled this in my Target haul. It's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. I am obsessed with this color. I was inspired by Amy, Amy Lynn Thompson, who is one of the girls over on Just Like That. And she was wearing a purple lipstick one day and I was like, Amy is as white as I am. And that purple lipstick looks great on her. So I'm gonna buy purple lipstick. Is my hair falling down? It's kind of starting to fall down. Hold on guys. Let me take my clip, let me adjust. Is it janky that I use like a big, like a knot clip I'd wear in real life to pull my hair back just for this video? Um, yeah, true, the secret's out. So there's that. Second thing is this other lip color that I've been obsessed with for months. I've literally used it all the way to the bottom. That is the, as high as it will twist up. And this is the Tarte uh, Lip Surgeon's Matte Lip Tint in Envy. Oh, I love this stuff and every time I wear this color, people say something to me all on my Instagram. What color are you wearing your lips? What color are you wearing your lips? Yeah, I love this. So these two colors have been my favorite for the last few months. And then just like a traditional lip balm, this is the Burt's Bees Coconut and Pear Moisturizing Lip Balm. So um, got this at I think Target or Walmart, very exciting times. And oh my gosh guys, this really is like the no crap what's in my purse video. Um, all I have left are mints, and these are the Altoids Smalls Peppermint, but I feel, yeah, I'm right. This is actually kind of a mix. I have in here some of the Altoids, but my favorite mints are the mints, M-Y-N-T-Z, from Trader Joe's. I like the peppermint and I like the vanilla, um, so that, that tin, I actually mixed both up in here because not only do I just like mints, obviously, because I don't want to have bad breath, and like Ingrid said in her video, I tend to be the kid with the bad breath, but on top of that, and kind of more important to me, sorry for everyone else, I get nauseous a lot and peppermint really helps with nausea. So I like to have my mints also just for if I'm feeling nauseous at all, I can chew on it. So yeah, that brings me to the end of the video. So don't forget to check out vintage.com and we'll have the link down below where I will be selling those bags and then all of the rules for the Ted Baker purse that I'm giving away will be down below as well. I will see you all very soon. I'm getting really pumped for May. I have exciting stuff coming up in May. I've dropped little hints here and there. You probably already know what that is, what's happening. But yeah, besides my birthday. So um, that's it. Bye guys.